Do you know what sucks? Suction grab bars. I've got a bone to pick with you. Learn all about it today on Toilet Talk. Welcome to Toilet Talk, the show that loves pretty potties and hates ugly medical equipment. My name is Maria Lindbergh, and I am an occupational therapist. I've helped so many people make the best changes in their bathroom to live at home for a lifetime. And today we're gonna do things a little bit differently. So normally I focus on pretty changes to make to your bathroom, but sometimes we gotta talk about the ugly. Well, suction grab bars are going to be the exception to the rules. And it's not because they're only ugly, it's also because they're actually more dangerous than people realize. Sorry, suction grab bar industry, not trying to take you down. I just wanna make more people aware of the fact that they may not want to use suction grab bars in the bathroom for their safety. So let's get into it. Let's head on over to the bathroom and we'll get started, okay? <laughs> Welcome to my actual real shower. I'm gonna tell you about these things. These are called suction grab bars. So the point of a suction grab bar is if you or a family member is feeling unsteady when they step in and out of the shower, or if they're feeling unsteady moving around in the shower, the point of this is to suction it to the wall and then you hold on to it to steady your balance while you're moving around. So that sounds really uh, simple. It sounds really safe. People like these because they are marketed as, oh, you don't have to make a hole in your wall. You're not having to use power tools. You simply um, pull this thing up, put it in place on the wall, and then lock it down so that it stays in place. These are actually just marketed as steadying devices. If you're thinking this will keep me from falling in my bathroom, you are so wrong. These are definitely not marketed by the manufacturer, something that can prevent falls. They're simply steadying devices. So with these things, which I lovingly refer to as Satan's helpers, this is how you should put them on if you are feeling like this is the last resort or this is the easiest thing that I can do right now at this time. So what you wanna do is with your tile in the shower, and it's, it's better to stick to tile these things don't stick well to other surfaces. Yeah, you could do acrylic or fiberglass showers. You can stick them on. Tile is fine. Definitely not anything. I wouldn't put this on glass. That sounds very dangerous. Um, I, I wouldn't put it on wood. I wouldn't put these on anything but uh, like some kind of acrylic fiberglass shower or some kind of tile. So what you wanna do is find a smooth level spot on the tile you don't want to put the suction cup on the grout. You want it to be smooth, you want it to be level. And I would go ahead and take some rubbing alcohol and wipe the area down, let it dry so that it's there's no moisture in there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull both of these up and then you, I'd probably wipe this clean too with some rubbing alcohol as well but what you're going to do is put it on, I'm gonna actually put it on this way because my shower controls are kind of in the way. So what you're gonna do is put it in the place that you want and you're going to push down and then push the levers down. Oh man, I need to actually put it on right though. Check totally secure before use. Well, at least they're getting honest with this. Check totally secure before use. Thank God, I wasn't expecting that from them. I guess I need to press harder. Let me try again. I'm gonna put it here, push it down. Wow, what am I doing wrong? This was supposed to be easy. Maybe I'm not pushing it down hard enough. I think, oh, hold on. Okay, I got it. So I'm pushing the cups inside. What was that sound? Uh-oh. Oh! <gasps> you guys, oh my God. This literally just broke apart on me. I just bought this brand new. Look at that. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. I have to, I can't, I can't demonstrate it right now. I need to take a break. I'm about to go into full meltdown. Okay. Satan's helpers, AKA suction grab bars. The manufacturers that make these, I feel like it's so unethical how they market it. So they market it as a steadying device, as something that doesn't or prevent falls. So I understand, you know, with any kind of bathroom equipment with grab bars, even though they're there, sure, it doesn't mean that grandma's not gonna fall in the shower, but at least if you had a grab bar installed into studs or blocking in the shower or by the toilet, at least it wouldn't do this and completely fall apart on you. With these suction cup grab bars, they're so frustrating because the companies that that set these out, they don't make it clear that, hey, you know, with the temperature change in your bathroom going from hot to cold on the tile or the fiberglass, that actually means it loses suction. So you, before you use the grab bar or this evil suction grab bar every time, you have to pull on it and check and make sure that it's actually still attached to the wall. If you have a grab bar that is installed into studs or blocking, you don't have to test it every time before you use it. You just freaking use it. I would just go to a big box store, get a $20 grab bar, actually just screw it into the shower. That way your grandma or you or other family member doesn't have to pull on it to make sure it's still on the wall before you use it with every single shower or every time you use the toilet. How awful is that? So I'm not a fan of suction grab bars. I never was a fan. I am biased. I I am an occupational therapist who's worked with people who have fallen at home because of these. They thought that these worked and they didn't. And then they fall and they come to the hospital and they go to rehab and I see them. And then they have these injuries that take months and months to heal and recover. And then to top it all off, these poor people develop a fear of falling. They become anxious and because they feel like at any time they could fall and get re-injured and go to the hospital. It's a very traumatic experience. I just feel like I set money on fire. I bought this myself, okay? This was not sent to me. I bought this and I just, I set money on fire. I'm gonna set this on fire in my backyard. I'm gonna try again with this one. <laughs> Maybe I should read the directions. Are there directions with this thing? So I literally was doing it correctly before, so I'm not entirely sure why it didn't work. So we're gonna try this again. Okay, here we go. I'm pushing down. Okay. Okay, it's still not working, but <laughs> I'm gonna pretend like this is, this is working. So before you use the suction grab bar every time, Make sure to pull on it so that you make sure it actually will steady you as you use it moving around in your shower. This is me, Maria, saying I do not endorse suction grab bars. They are evil. Please look away from them. Please get actual real grab bars that are installed into studs and blocking so you never have to worry about this sucker falling off, okay? I know I got heated during this. <sighs> I don't know, maybe I should take a shower to cool off for a second and calm down. Tell me in the comment section below, do you use suction grab bars? What do you think of them? I wanna know your thoughts. So we went over all the dirty deets on suction grab bars. Now you know why I don't like them. If you have any comments, please put them down below. I would love to know your thoughts on them and uh, why I'm, I'm wrong or right or whatever. Are you team suction grab bars? Let me know down below. If you found something new in this video, go ahead and hit like and the subscribe button. Please also hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Thank you so much for watching. I love seeing your beautiful shining face and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.